good morning you guys welcome back to my channel what's up what's good how are you guys doing hope that you guys are amazing if this is your first time here with us welcome and if you guys are returning welcome back all right so collective oh hold on before we get started i want to welcome in my divine ancestors of the pure white light my warring ancestors my warring angels my full spiritual cord i ask that they Cover me, protect me, guard the spiritual doors and portals, uh, guide me through this message. In God's name, amen, all right. So, yeah, somebody say they coming back, all right? This person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, y'all, but this person say that they, they are coming back to you. Um, this person said that they want to see you again. So I take it that it's been a long time since you done seen them, like physically been around this person. You know, um, maybe you was used to seeing this person all the time. Like a lot of you guys could have linked up with this person, met up with this person. Y'all maybe, I'm getting like sat around, you talk, you got to know each other. For some of y'all, this didn't go that far. Like maybe you didn't get a good year out of this situation with this person. You always wonder what happened with this individual. Or maybe things started getting serious and this person got kind of distant. But for a lot of you guys, you sought boundary, boundaries with this person. They started displaying some low vibrational traits, some red flags. You sought boundaries with this person collective. Um, for others of you guys, it was over a year. For some of y'all, for this person to say, I cried myself to sleep knowing that I lost you. This, it was more, it was like a couple years that y'all was dealing with this person. Like, because I don't just really see nobody crying themselves to sleep for just like a year of knowing somebody for real. Like, that ain't long enough. So, I'm getting like multiple storylines. So, for some of y'all, you ain't knew this person that long. If you didn't know them that long, they're not crying themselves to sleep. Others, you guys, if you was dealing with this person for over three years or more, this person has actually cried and shed tears over losing this connection with you. All right. Or like you guys walking away. This is definitely an ex-lover, right? This is somebody who really didn't want you to let them go, but they knew in their heart, they knew in their spirit that they wasn't ready. They wasn't right. This person wasn't right on the inside, okay? This is someone who has actively tried to move on. Like, when I mean actively, meaning like they could have dated a few people, talked to a few people, a few flings, a, you know, maybe they thought they was going to be serious with a, with a few people and nothing worked out for this person, right? they also feel like that whatever they have to offer right now would not be enough for you so i'm not sure if this person is talking about financially or just who they are right now as far as their emotional state of being their their um emotional place like who they are right now depending on like who you are like because this person kind of put you on a pedestal like, I get a vibe, like, they put you on a pedestal energetically. Like, they really do look up to you, whether they've said this to you or not. Okay, like, you you real, real different from the anybody else from their past or any new person that they've came across collective. And they put you on a pedestal, all right? You, you are different. I heard nobody else like you, like no other, you know? And this is why this person is saying, like, I respect you for setting strong boundaries. So, yeah. Maybe this person ain't just really necessarily used to anybody putting their foot down. Maybe they're used to like getting away with a certain type of behavior or, you know, um, how they conduct themselves, things, things that they say or do with other people, you know? Um, so yeah, tell me more about this person here. You could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or this person could be a Cancer Scorpio, um, or Pisces energy here. Tell me about this person. What happened? Give me the backstory. What happened with this situation? All right. Why did them and the collective split up? Why did them and the collective split up? I heard there was some miscommunication. Whether they said something and you took it the wrong way. Or you took it for just the way you were supposed to take it. Or... Maybe they wasn't able to communicate with you the way that they should have because this person was like maybe entertaining other people or they was just, I heard, easily distracted or preoccupied with other things, you know. 
I heard miscommunication. Like, why did they split up? Why did this person, like, why is this person an ex? What happened? What separated them? Oh, wow. In the death card, this person not being honest. This person not being honest. This person not being stable. Um, they could have rushed towards um, a situation uh, that they thought was going to be better for them or something like that. Um, the Knight of Wands could be very reckless. So this person made a reckless choice to go towards a situation, a person. Um, and I feel like this person has found out that that's an unstable situation. Yeah, like they never should have invested in this person. Like it ended, like whatever the situation was, collective it's over but the thing about it is that they have fell from grace in your eyes like you don't you don't respect them no more yeah you don't look at this person the same way anymore you see everything so clearly for real y'all could have y'all actually could have been the one to make a clear choice to cut this person off yeah like you wanted to just like avoid conflict or something like that the world card so you decided to just end it for real you didn't want to argue. You didn't want to fight with this person. You guys could have started having like, you know, disagreements. Yeah. The nine of ones energy. The, um, what is this? The six of swords. You got, you guys became guarded with this individual here. Cause every time you would let your guards down, this person would say or do something to hurt you. You guys decided to cut this person off. You made a clear choice to cut this person off because of this person's bad behavior. Okay, that their lack of integrity. You lost respect for this person. And I see that they want to come out of conflict with you, but you guys have already traveled towards karma water. You are divinely guided to move away from this person here. Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. So... You guys were guided to leave this person behind. So me, the two of swords in reverse is really giving a clear cut choice and decision. You made a clear choice to leave this person behind y'all. Cause this person was, it's given in and out your life. The nine of swords is given in and out back and forth. They were not offering anything stable. Seven of pentacles in reverse. This person was unstable. <laughs> okay. I just heard a, um, a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. That's what I heard. This person was unstable. And um, I feel like now, you guys, this person want to come out of conflict with you. They want to come out of conflict with you. Hmm. Clarify this seven of pentacles in reverse. What is this energy here? What is this unstable energy? Wow. The three of... Three of cups in reverse. That, that's affairs. So this person lost a lot of themselves because they were out here having affairs. They, they were out here indulging in third-party situations here. I heard loveless marriage. So this person could have got married or they could have committed to somebody and it's loveless. It's no love. Yeah. The night, I'm sorry, the king of wands, okay? This person was, and it came out crossing, y'all. So, this is somebody who was one foot in, one foot out. Do I want to be a player? Do I want to be committal, all right? Do I want to be a stand-up guy, or do I want to be a player? What do I want to do, okay? Because if, you, if you're if you a player, you're not a stand-up guy. Let's just be, keep it a stag. You're not a stand-up type of person, all right? So, this person was kind of like one foot in, one foot out, they didn't know what they wanted to do. Tell me more. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person that um, wants to see the collective again. I heard, when can I see you again? When can my heart beat again? Tell me more.
why did it why do okay so that makes sense i'm afraid that i don't have enough to offer you seven of pentacles in reverse so this person may be going through something financial this is giving codependent so something about this person is right now financially codependent okay what happened what happened with this person while they were um, in separation mature man something happened to make this person mature whatever this person experienced um while you guys were in separation it made them mature wow thief mm. so this is why this person lacks security somebody stole from them but this made this person wise and up it made this person grow up <laughs> you know that's, a, that's sad that someone has to come in and steal something from you and take something from you to get you to wisen up, to get you to grow up. Tell me more. Clarify this thief energy here. Who is this thief? Tell me about this thief. Jealousy and envy. Um intuitive calf energy so hmm this person was jealous and envious of something tell me more about this person who was jealous and envious this person could be a leo the person that stole from your person could be a leo you could be a leo some of you guys feel like this person stole something from you the love offer card just came out and poverty, please help y'all. So this was something dealing with love. Let me get this card. Okay. So somebody came in, all right, possibly using spiritual manipulation with the intuitive care of energy here. So this, you know, your person could have thought this was like a spiritual connection with this person, you know, um, but this person was actually very jealous and envious of your person or jealous and envious of the connection that you and your person share together. Um, whoever this karmic energy is, they feel as though they stole this person from you. They definitely stole finances from this person as well. Okay, they could have did this through spiritual manipulation with the intuitive care of energy here. All right. Um, they could have mentally... F this person, if you know what I mean. I heard mine F, right? Um, this is why this person is in a place of poverty. Please help. This is why. I feel like they accepted a love offer from somebody when y'all went into separation. And this person was, one, super, super jealous and envious of this person. What they had to offer. And look, Voodoo, look at this. And the connection that you guys share. So this was a jealous, jealous, envious, spirited person. Regardless if they was jealous of your person or they was jealous of the connection that you shared with this person or how this person felt about you. For some of y'all, if your person had like material wealth or something like that, this third party was jealous of the money and the security that this person had. Okay? So someone definitely used spiritual manipulation with the priestess in the voodoo energy here to kind of like get money from this person. Yeah, divine masculine in reverse. Yeah, so it was easy for them for them to do this collective because this person was like a karmic masculine energy. They were unawakened. They were very low vibrational for real. So someone was able to use voodoo to energetically siphon money from your person. Like I'm hearing like a spiritual energetic wealth transfer. Yeah. Whether they went to a priestess to get this done or they did this themselves. And like I said, this worked on this masculine because they were so low vibrational. They're, they're here on my table as divine masculine in reverse. I heard they had not reached their full potential or something like that. Yeah, work, labor, and efforts is in reverse. So someone is, your person is in a space of not being abundant. Someone spiritually stole from them. A spiritual thief. Left them in a place of um, emotional pain. Oh, yeah, they're heartbroken. When they found out what this karmic was doing to them behind the scenes, the fact that they was really stealing from them for real, that they didn't mean them no good, that they were using them for their money, y'all, this broke their heart. 
you know, sexual union. So they could have been dealing with this person, you know, out of lust. Okay, so this was a sexual union between them, you know, and I think that your person could have caught feelings. I heard for some of y'all, this person could have like thought it was love or something like that, you know, but this was all spiritual manipulation for real. Wow, look at the fool. Oh, this person feel like a fool because they let something that was supposed to be strictly sexual. They let it go too far. Like, this went too far. This was never love. This was never love. Yeah. Now this person is stuck, reminiscing, wanting to come back to you, wanting to reach out to you. This person, like, they want to see you. They want to see y'all again, collective. But they definitely feel like a clown, for real, you know? For, like allowing a sexual connection with somebody to you know cause them to be in this this desolate place like to lose everything you know including you you know this person feel like the biggest loss or the greatest loss was the loss of this connection between you and them that was the greatest loss and with past life energy here this could have happened in a past life okay like this person could have literally left y'all grieving in a previous lifetime for real for this same karmic energy. Or they could have grieved in a past life because they lost you. Like I kind of get a vibe like this person lose you every lifetime to the same energy, same story, you know. I feel like you and this person both recognize. Like well, you for sure. You recognize this was like a past life connection between you and them for real, you know. And I feel like you were so attracted to them, so spiritually connected to them immediately. Like that, there was like this sense of familiarity um, that you felt for this person here. But, you know, a lot of you guys are just afraid to trust this person again because you once were so open and vulnerable to this individual. And this person, they, they did skip out on the connection for, they skipped out on a divine connection, a, a spiritual connection for a sexual connection with a karmic energy here. Yeah. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. So, you know, whatever this person is going through in their life, y'all, this is all divinely orchestrated to help them to pretty much be an upstanding guy or an upstanding woman. Um, to be a better person, to like rise to the occasion, to ascend, to help them align to the highest version of themselves. So they have to go through this dark time. This person is afraid. I heard they have nobody to turn to. This is probably why this person's going to reach out to you, y'all. Like they, you, they, you make this person feel safe or they feel safe. Whatever they're going through in their life right now, y'all, these demons is on this person. Okay, whatever energy they've been putting out there. It has came back to bite this person. Yeah, the unknown. This person, they, they're they afraid. They don't know what to do next. They don't know how their life is going to turn out for real. You know, um, this person could be a paycheck away from losing everything for real, y'all. Including their mind. All right? But this dark night of the soul has to happen for this person here. You know. Um, tell me more. Yeah, the unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. So I feel like in the past, this person absolutely saw your value. They saw your worth. Okay. And I feel like this person was like maybe afraid of overinvesting and not getting anything in return or, you know, being wrong. Them thinking you the right person and them being wrong. So I feel like this person, you know, they left, they abandoned the connection but the thing about it, they still ended up getting played. They tried their best for you not to play them, only to run into the arms of, of a real player, of a real karmic. I heard of a real demon. Yeah. Yeah, breakthrough. They're planning. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Yeah, so... This person is coming back. They are. Yeah. They're coming back. They're going to communicate with you guys. Um, they're going to get this bright idea from spirit to communicate with you. Um, this person has realized that moving on from you guys is impossible. 
So they might as well hang that up. You know, but they don't have anything because this person was spiritually robbed by a karmic. Yeah, lustful desires. They linked up with somebody who was strictly operating out of lust. They themselves was in this lustful energy. They got caught up and stuck in some type of karmic loop with this demon, with this person. I heard like a sex demon or something like that, an incubus or a succubus. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a succubus though. And this and this this thing sucked this person dry and they started losing everything. Yeah. Tell me more. Oh, they wanna they wanna they wanna resurrect this. That's this is all this person is talking about amongst their friends and their family. It says, what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. There's a lot of gossip surrounding this relationship that is a, that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too, you know? So y'all, I feel like this person is kind of talking to people that they trust about how they're going to come back. When should they reach out? How should they do it? Like if y'all have this person on block, should they download a, a text now app or something like that? Like, you know, when is the perfect time? But it's for you and this person to communicate. Like, they got somebody I heard hype, man. They have somebody kind of like hyping them up. Because this person is very afraid. Because they know whatever you got to say to them collective, like if you cuss this person out, it, it's really well deserved. Like they deserve for you to cuss them out. They deserve for you to tell them to take a hike. All right? To scram. You know, I do feel like um, there's also gossip surrounding what this witch did to this person. Yeah. Like how this person's life has turned out. Like I'm not saying that people around this person, their friends, their family, like know that this person linked up with a dark witch. But whatever this karmic energy did to this person, it has totally transformed their life for the worse, y'all. And I feel like there's a lot of gossip surrounding how this person's life has turned out. Like maybe they used to ha have it all. And now this person don't have anything anymore. But that's what happened when you link up with low vibrational energy and you give love offers to karmic energies. This is what happens to you. Now this person want to come and give you the love offer. They're just hoping that you will hear them out. Because remember, you have already set strong boundaries with this person. And like they say, this is one thing that they really, really do like about you, like love about you. Like they were... This person probably was pissed off when you blocked them and, and cut them off and told them to go to hell. But they respect that shit. They respect you because nobody else, like other people just have let this person play in their face. You're the only one that just said like, no, you're not going to play in my face. I know my worth. I know my value. You can go straight to hell. Okay. And that's, that's what y'all did. And that's what y'all stood on. And now this person is, is is pretty much grabbing for straws at this point i heard an emotional wreck you know talking to anybody that'll listen to them um trying to get advice on how they can return you know and would you accept them back would you be willing to hear them out that's their biggest concern would you even hear them out because the way that this person conducted themselves when y'all did talk, like when you were willing to hear this person out was unacceptable. They know they said some mean, hurtful things to you guys collective. You know, this person know that they were once in a position where you would have like did anything for them. Maybe you was once pouring your heart out for them and they didn't want it. <coughs> so it's like now the shoe was about to be on the other foot. With this person, they're about to be pouring their heart out to you, trying to come out of conflict with you. Where in the past, you were the one trying to end the conflict with them. You're not in that energy no more. This is this person don't want this ending to be over. Look at this message. Yeah, they're gonna message you telling you telling you how they don't want it to be over between you and them. Okay, they don't want this to be a dead situation no more. Hmm. Okay, y'all, listen. I'm going to extend this video. In the extended, you guys, um, we're going to talk about the possible outcome between you and your person. What feelings for you <clears throat> are they hiding? What do they want from you guys, including their true intentions? What's going on with them behind the scenes with the karmic? What's going to be the outcome of them in this karmic situation? What is the karma 
that your person experienced or what are they what karma are they currently experiencing for their actions that they took y'all what hidden factors are blocking this reunion um what is this person's next move towards you guys what is this next conversation going to be about like what are y'all going to talk about what is the vibe going to be about what what can you guys expect if you decide to entertain this person's communication when you get it okay and i'm going to also get any advice from your spirit guides all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading as much as i enjoyed giving it to you if you're interested in the second half of the video, click the link in the description box. Follow me over to the extended or at the top of the comment section. I love you guys to life.